in the middle of Chiquimula, Guatemala, working with the Club Rotario Chiquimula de la Sierra to do a project with an NGO called Project Harvest in two Mayan villages. Actualmente tenemos eh, un proyecto de huertos familiares en dos comunidades de Jocotán y el proyecto de huertos ha, ha cambiado mucho la historia de estas comunidades. We're going through very steep mountainous terrain. The roads are not much wider than the truck. Having to get out and pile rocks in a stream that was covering over the road and washing it away before we could uh, drive across that stream. Our trip down here was to make sure that uh, everything is going as we said it would. We're providing them with the ability to grow gardens that will give them all the proper nutrients that they need. Acciones que estamos realizando permiten a las mujeres tomar decisiones como alimentar mejor a sus niños y a su familia y por eso van teniendo cada día más y más poder. So we have 66 families and each family is building their own garden just outside of their home. That sounds a lot easier than it really is. These homes are on the sides of mountains and they're covered with jungle. And these people work extremely hard. The project seems to be going very well. They're set up for their next phase, which is to build water catchments. I'm sure they'll do a good job on that too. When we arrived at the village, we met with the town leaders. We distributed school supplies to all the school children. Very memorable experience to meet with these people and see how much that this meant to them. During the village leader's presentation, he brought up the fact that the village needs potable water. They've asked for it. It will not be easy, but it's something we'd like to get involved with and try and make it happen. We're going to go on a tour. They're going to take me to where they get their potable water when it's not raining. And the women usually do it, and they carry it on their head, and they walk for 45 minutes to an hour. So we're going to go on that track and see how they get their water right now. Let's go. I can't imagine ladies walking with five gallon pails of water on their head. But they do it with kids too. <laughs> So we made it. So this is where they get their water from. Yeah. They wash at the bottom parts, and then this is, you can see the spring. See right there? It's coming right out of the earth. Look for Loki. We were fortunate enough to be able to have lunch with the newly elected mayor of the city. Yokotan is a city of about 60,000 people and uh, we won't be able to do it without them. To help make sure that we cement our relationship, we also bought lunch for him in his own restaurant, which uh, I hope helped. The scope of this job would be to find a good source of clean water, make sure it's purified, and then deliver it to each of the homes in the village. I'm thinking the next steps of that project are to find out who's going to be involved, put a cost to it, then apply for a global grant from the Rotary Foundation. We'll get this project done and we will get water into those villages. Agradecemos al Club de Burlington por todo su apoyo. Esperamos seguir juntos dar de sí antes de pensar en sí, que es nuestro lema Rotary. Unfortunately, we, we can't be everywhere and do everything. There's so many things that they need. But obviously, from what we've seen, we have assisted them greatly. There's much more that we could do. Some of the projects are small, some of them are very large, like potable water. Every little bit we do makes a huge difference to their lives.